Floating licenses with Team Server 2, a simplified licensing model. Your Team Server package contains a pool of déjà vu licenses that you can assign and control smoothly in real time. The administrator or project manager will be represented by this icon throughout the demonstration. Translators, proofreaders and reviewers will be represented by this icon. This menu in the Team Server Administrator Control Panel displays the status of the license pool in real time. In this example, the Team Server floating license pool contains seven licenses, two Deja Vu X2 professional licenses and five Deja Vu X2 workgroup licenses. I can see who is using the activated licenses and how many licenses are currently free for others to use. How does the dispatch work from the administrator's or project manager's perspective? The administrator or project manager assigns déjà vu licenses to the users in the administrator control panel at any time. To do so, he has to click on the edit icon. Once the Provide Floating License option has been checked, he can either specify an expiry date or give unlimited access to the license. For example, let's give this user, Etienne, a professional license for a limited time period. As you can see, the user settings and information are properly displayed on the Administrator Control Panel. Now let's see how the floating licenses are used from the Déjà Vu X2 user's perspective. Etienne can now install Déjà Vu X2 from Atril's website. In doing so, he will be in Editor mode, which means he will be able to open satellite files but without being able to connect to the team server databases. Therefore, he requests the floating license provided by the administrator. To do so, he has to go to the Help menu and click on Request Floating License. He enters his credentials and activates the professional version of Déjà Vu. The administrator or project manager can see in real time that he's using the floating license. That license has been removed temporarily from the pool. No more Déjà Vu X2 professional licenses are available. Translators can work in Déjà Vu for the time they need. As soon as they close Déjà Vu, the license is immediately freed up to return to the license pool ready for someone else. The project manager can assign déjà vu licenses to users once and the system takes care of the rest. If there are any conflicting connections or if an emergency arises, the administrator can instantly disconnect any user manually. The disconnected user has one more hour before actually being disconnected. Anyway, the related licenses are freed for others to use instantly. Users already equipped with Déjà Vu X2 can work with a direct link to the Team Server translation memory and term base without having to request a floating license from the pool. For example, Blondine has her own Déjà Vu X2 workgroup license. She can work and link her project to Team Server 2 with her permanent license. All she has to do is to enter the credentials she's been provided with. This floating license system 
has been designed for you to optimize the number of licenses in your pool, making the most of user time zone differences and users who already have their own déjà vu licenses. You can have many more users than licenses in your pool. Find more e-learning modules on www.atrill.com.